I want to learn to code, so I built this. Now, it's not like I've never coded before. I can blink an LED, but to be honest, I'm pretty bad at it. The only reason I'm learning this is because I have some projects in the pipeline that require a little bit more complicated logic than I can get just by stacking a bunch of inverters on top of each other. Now, the project is not that complicated. It has a little ESP01 microcontroller, which fetches weather data from an API and then just displays it on this little OLED screen here. And to be honest, that end of the project isn't that interesting. The more interesting part is how I decided to build it. There's a couple different ways you could build this. The easiest would be just on a breadboard. The second would be a perf board, or you could get a custom PCB made by one of those companies who you send a file to, get the parts and solder yourself. All of those will give you a completely functioning circuit, but I wanted to go a little bit of a different direction and freeform the entire thing. So I decided to get this piece of plastic and build the entire circuit floating in the air on top of it. And then I would end up with something that I could proudly hang on my wall. So this video is how I did that. To start, I put the plastic, leaving the paper cover on and kind of planned my layout. I didn't have anything beforehand. I just kind of placed the parts where I thought they would look best. Once I had a rough idea of how it would look, I marked the parts so I could start drilling holes and tapping them into the plastic. I'm not sure if tapping acrylic is the best idea, but considering the amount of loads that would go be going through this, I wasn't too worried about it. Once that was done, I could start bolting the components directly onto the plastic and start laying out the wiring. It helps to have the components solidly mounted or the ones that can be solidly mounted and then it makes running the actual circuitry a lot easier when you have set spots to work off of. It's much easier to build off something like this than build a freeform robot where I'm starting purely from scratch. This would have the option of being powered by a little 3.7 volt lithium battery, as well as USB-C. Um, everything is powered off of 3.3 volts, so that little module on the bottom there acts as a step down and a voltage control and charge control for my battery. This technique of using a small section of PCB and pin headers for the basis of a lot of circuits is actually something I stole from Eric Brandel, who does some amazing freeform electronics work. This gives us a very solid spot to start from for our circuits, as well as adds a little bit of visual interest to the design. Once these are mounted onto the plastic, I can run some brass wires between them. This will have four wires, one power, one ground, and then two signal wires to run between my LCD and my little brain of the whole project. I tend to solder across two pin headers, which gives it a good contact and it also allows me to contact to that wire from up underneath. And also the double wide spacing gives me a little bit more room to work with when I'm attaching other components to these. The extra pieces of brass wire underneath help to lift these up and space them a little bit vertically as well as side to side. This allows a little bit easier routing of some of the contacts between the battery and power as well as the actual microcontroller. This screen is an I2C screen, so the wiring is relatively simple. The display just needs power, ground, and then a clock and signal wire. It was a little bit difficult to solder nicely to the end of these wires. Perhaps if I use some thin brass tubing that would be easier, 
but it turned out pretty well in the end. The branch of this project was this little ESP8266 on this little ESP01 breakout board. Previously I have used these as a little Wi-Fi module for a larger Arduino project. However, here I'm using it as the entire microcontroller as well as the Wi-Fi contact. This simplifies the circuit greatly. However, it does mean that I'm pretty limited as you only have two GPIO pins. You can make that four if you're willing to sacrifice serial data for debugging, but I think for this project that's more than enough as the I squared C screen only requires those two pins anyway. As much as I wanted some extra pins to do other things on this project, I kind of resisted the urge and instead kept it really simple. There's always expansions I can do in the future, and even this little microcontroller has more than enough capability for a lot of the basic stuff I want to do with it. One big downside of these little ESP01 modules is that they don't have any way to program them, at least not off the bat. In fact, they're not really designed to be used like that. However, they can be programmed with all the Arduino environment. So I added some pins here to connect to the extra header pins, and then I can use a little USB to serial programmer to program the actual thing using the Arduino IDE, which makes things a breeze to use and work with. Once everything was set, cleaned, and ready to go, I peeled the plastic and started to mount the components onto the plastic backing for the last time. This circuit and program are largely based on an Instructables, which I will link in the description down below. I've modified the code somewhat to work with my setup here. I used a different screen and I had some different parameters I wished to display, but it was mostly a copy and paste of that. All those links will be down below. I added this little battery mount which was just a bent piece of brass with two contact points to hold my little lithium cell here. And with that, the entire project is done. Now all we need to do is program it and double check to make sure that it all actually does function how I wanted. Programming went relatively smoothly after I found out that my ground was actually connected to positive of my USB to serial. Luckily I didn't cook anything and it worked first try after that. Once it boots up it takes a few seconds to connect to the local Wi-Fi and then it displays the weather, time, and the forecast for the next few days. If you enjoyed the video, maybe give it a follow. I'll be exploring a little bit more extremely basic microcontroller stuff in the future, as well as my other robots. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.